No, people don't want to hear that. Nothing will be done about this. Right. You know what's this a great is, new change? The new legal change that they've made in Massachusetts since uh, George Floyd was killed. What's that? Is they've banned menthol cigarettes. Ooh, that's great. Since since Floyd was killed? Yeah, the law just came into effect. The ban what? In June. They just menthol cigarettes oh, great. are now illegal. So, I mean, you know, like, I want to get mad at Robbie. I don't want to get mad at Robbie Fox, and I think he means well, but I see him like, that's just a kid who doesn't quite get the whole thing. Did he reach out to you, or you reach out to uh, him? I forget. We've been talking last day or so. I might mm. reach out to him first today and just be like, hey, you know. I think I said that. I was like, I kind of get where you're going with this, like, that makes some sense, yeah. but you're not 100% there. But, you know, but he's also like, hey, you know, thanks for reaching. We went back and forth, and he's yeah. a nice kid. Like, I'm not, I mean, it's just the same with Rhea and Fran. I, I just think it's, to me, what he tweet is a lot less dangerous than that because you're asking them to fucking send money to these people. He can tweet whatever he wants. It's fucking free. No one's donating anything. I would I would right. encourage the Minifans fans to also take a look at all these links that people are tweeting around because I'm legitimately trying oh, to figure I, out I where, I mean, where the money is going and who's who's responsible no idea. for it. A no few idea. of them seem to be legit, but some of them seem to be just going to the Democrat Party through Act Blue. It's just it's just kind you of know a what? mess. I don't, I, don't think, I don't think the people who are tech don't even care. But they, the thing want, is, they just want to say they're doing but it. If you, but if you actually want to help then you would be concerned with where the money is actually going. If you just want to make yourself feel good and let everyone know how awoke you are, then you don't care where the money's going. You just get to retweet it and say, look, I donated. Right. True. Yeah, no, th that is definitely true. So, <sighs> I don't know. Thoughts and prayers. A lot of work. Is that unusual the, the medical examiner won't release an autopsy? I've heard mixed reports. Okay. We'll mixed say, reports. Is that unusual, Steve? It's unusual. Thank you. Has ever happened before? The guy's fucking name doesn't exist? I've never, apparently? I have never come across this before i've never had a medical examiner refuse to release an autopsy report in all your time oh, there you go huh. this is what i'm talking about like so you know and this has got in two hours forty seven thousand retweets and three hundred thousand likes the redskins tweet out blackout tuesday and aoc tweets out really want to stand for racial justice change your name <laughs> yeah, that's gonna help with the fucking knee on this poor guy's head <laughs> i know i mean that's just that that to right. me is and, and, and again people are gonna i know how this works I just fucking ripped Trump for being a big fucking religious panderer. I'm ripping her for being a fucking... What does that solve? It's, what does it's, that fucking solve? Nothing. It's just brainless. It's emotional. It right. makes Easy. them feel good. It speaks yeah. to like the liberal id. Yeah. And it, it's the same thing as Trump. You're appealing to your to your fucking base. That is just pan... Like, great. So now they're the Washington whatever. Fucking flowers. And, yeah. and once again, two years from now, we're in fucking Post Falls, Idaho. And some cop has got his knee on some guy's head. And the fucking Washington flowers are six and two. The guy's going to take his fucking knee off the guy's head. They're going to hug and they're going to fucking. I mean, it's just so fucking annoying. Like fucking stand for something. You're a fucking lawmaker. And this is what you're fucking tweeting about. You can fucking actually change this in the country as opposed to tweeting and fucking pretending to cry. You can actually be an agent of change. And you're worried about the team name of a fucking group of guys that throw a fucking ball around. You have a fucking dummy in the White House. Fucking step up and fucking you, you're a young fucking person with a massive fucking base dying for fucking change and this is what you're doing and 47,000 people you fucking enable her by fucking oh that's fo oh, oh fucking great roast you fucking got them what gets fucking accomplished the next time someone has their knee on some poor guy's fucking neck Jesus Christ that drives me fucking crazy she's probably one of the top 10 most powerful members of the house the just ba just based not not officially but oh, in terms of based influence? on her influence and, and the populist movement she's leading yeah top five she could she could oh, start that a cry. Me fucking fucking nuts oh god that makes me fucking crazy also ironically the both the black picture and the name change equally useless like she has this real change the name change is useless but also the thing that everyone's supporting today that's equally useless sure but, yeah, one but, of the guys but, 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 but like you know with all due respect to these people like uh, I don't even know who did it at Barstow whoever pick your name. They're not, they're not in Congress. No. She is. Like, she is. At, we, Steve was just saying, well, how do we change it? People do. She's actually one of these people. And she's sitting there saying, oh, you know, and, and she's like, oh, great, great job. Boy, I showed them. It, like, they, first of all, they're going to change their fucking name anyway. And if they change, what does it matter? Don't you think Trump would take a meeting with her? If AOC came out and said, yeah. I want to I want to get together and I want to I've got course, these, but, I've got these but, three but things that I would that. like to advance. That's what I'm saying. Like if she if she tweeted out right now, I would uh, uh, President Trump, I'm asking to have a meeting with mm. you. These are the three things well, I want to accomplish. We, we, can, we can do this. Well, fast. She's not the president. How about if Donald Trump fucking said today we're going to get 20 Democrats and 20 Republicans, the most influential on both sides. Here's a room. We're going to lock the door until we get actual reform on this issue. I mean, why not do that?
Yeah. What is getting should. in the way of that? Who would say no if Trump actually tweeted out all their names? I'm going to be here. And then if some fucking Republicans showed up and some Democrats, everyone would have to show up. And I understand that's like, you know, a West Wing episode or something. But like, these are the things that actually have to be done. Oh, well, if there's ever a presidency where it's going to happen, it'd be this one. Oh, that tweet makes me fucking bananas. Anything else?